Okay, so next on the agenda are these commands. Uh, basically, this is the main feature of the bot, so it is important to at least watch this video if you're planning on using this feature. So, first thing that you should know is that this is a role-based system. And to demonstrate, let's just type prefix. It will give us a little error message now saying it has the wrong format. So, what you do is you type prefix, then at whatever role you want. Let's just say, I want to set the owner role. And then you have to do this part. Sometimes people don't realize you have to have these two grave signs followed by your prefix you want. Let's put it as O, for instance. Okay, and I could recommend you add a space, you don't have to. Okay, so there were no people that had the role, so it didn't add it on. But if it did, it would have added it on. Now, I'm going to add it to myself. Wait, why isn't it changing? Well, because the owner of a server itself cannot be changed by anyone. This is an important thing to realize. That no matter what you do, it will never add it to the owner of a server. However, if it doesn't add it and it's another person, you go to your service settings and make sure the bots or one of the bots roles is at least above all the other ones. Otherwise, it won't be able to actually change users with that role. It's just a feature in Discord. So let's add it to someone that does have a role lower than the bot. Would you look at that? It added it. Okay. But now how do you change it? Well, it's actually just the same command. In fact, I'm just going to simplify it like that. You don't have to mention as well, like any of the commands. Let's just say I wanted to change it to... Uh, why don't I just go owner, pull up owner. Well, now it changed. Ah, let me try this. This will definitely work. 100% sure about this one. So what happened there? It removed the prefix, but I mean, it's not there anymore. There's no whatever that is in front. Well, let me just tell you why. It is because in a name, if you go and try change your name, add like whatnot, you see that it must be 32 or fewer in length. But also has that limit and therefore cannot apply a prefix longer than that. So now what happens is it will just not add it because it can't. On that note though, you have a mod role. So let me set a prefix for that mod role. Let's add a more modest prefix. Would you look at that? It is there. But now let's add that owner role back. Set it to be, I don't know, O again. Oh, it just replaced it. So you might be thinking, But that's where you're wrong. You see, it won't add a prefix for something that has a higher role. In other words, it will choose the highest prefix that exists for that role and add it onto the user. However, however, if you do go and say enable or disable, in fact, disable single.
There we go. Then it will add it in order of the actual hierarchy. Now, as in the previous video, I set the logs to be enabled. So it is not telling me exactly that it failed to apply this to that because of this. That sort of thing is very um, simple in a sense. But uh, yeah. Then it's, it's the same for suffixes. Uh, quite literally. Um, it's the same command. And as you can see, it added to the bottom there. Uh, let's add a suffix to moderator as well. Let's call it mod. Okay. There we go. We have op mod and cool. So um, it's actually also like that. So you'll, you'll notice that mod is there. It goes from front to back and back to front, exactly how it really should. Okay, so I just uh, quickly changed something. So uh, as you can see, I just uh, fixed that. And essentially now if you were to remove stuff, it just removes it. Simple as that. Other roles don't interfere. And interestingly, let me just demonstrate to you what would happen in the case of this. Uh, let's go dark. Oh, that's not going to work. It will only work with roles, as I've said. Uh, so, this is a problem that will more often creep up as a result of Okay, let me make that a bit longer. I was expecting it to be a bit longer. Just enough. There we go. So, um, what will happen is to compensate for trying to put on a prefix that is too long and you have multiple prefixes enabled, it will actually remove them uh, to fit it. So it couldn't fit anymore and it just removed it. That is another reason why you might get an error. As you can see, this is just continuing to spam me because a certain individual has that. In other words, me. So to just go back to normal, you just have to enable single again. And then if it can fit, it will add the top prefix and suffix or whatever. Now let's go to the next command. Remove prefix. Oh, you want to remove a prefix, eh? Let's remove owner. Done. It is no longer there and it is consequently updated. So this is not complete. There is just one more command that you should know. Of course, remove suffix does the same. You don't really need that. What you do need to know about is list affix. List affix is pretty simple. Um, it just lists the affix. I mean, the affixes, the prefixes, suffixes, as you might have guessed by my mannerisms, affix means prefix and suffix. Okay. So we have mod 
and it tells you with your name how it would look. Okay, however, as you might have realized, by the disclaimer, emojis will not be displayed correctly. And you might be wondering, emojis? You haven't talked about that the whole time. Well, what if I told you that if I said prefix at owner, okay, this is important to realize. You gotta do this, put a space, this is important because if you want something to work, you need to do it like that. Because if you don't, what will happen is it will display it like this. And actually, in reality, it is not always going to display. It will actually technically be this text. I can show you an example in a moment, but let's just go with this. So we have this. Let's go like that. And added it. Cool. Look at that. Oh, so anything within uh, two of these, or one, you can go one, will always be the Unicode version, which is what will look like in your name. So we can just add a whole bunch of them. Let's add uh, a problematic one. I believe it was not that one actually. Sorry. This one. This one's a very um, contentious one. So let us just say for interest sake. Prefix at owner. Uh, let's go with this guy. Let's just say you did do this. Fascinating, it actually didn't break. Um, okay, it should break after I just adjust this. Oh, what do you know? It actually doesn't break. So this was an issue. I don't know if they've changed something. But if you ever do encounter this, what happens is when you add a emoji that isn't supported in the name, it will add it. And then, oh no, it didn't add it because it has changed it. So for instance, you notice that I put this in, right? And it's green. So let me just copy that actually. Let me copy that and change my name. Oh, that guy's name's really. Uh, did that. As you can see, it actually changed it to that. Uh, interestingly, let me do it again. This time at the back. Hey, what do you know? So, essentially, this is the problem. It will simplify something. So, let me actually just try that again. This time, I'm going to Do hold really wants me to do it. So in theory, this should, yep, there you go. So they didn't change it. They still have this problem. So whenever you put in an unsupported emoji inside, it will try add it continuously until it cannot anymore. The reason for this is because when it goes to remove something, it tries to look for this emoji icon but it gets this emoji icon, which is actually completely different. Uh, as you can see, that is not what that is. I mean, yeah, so it's important to realize that when you're sending a prefix, that if it continues to repeat something, it will do this. A good way to avoid this though, it's actually quite simple. You just have to literally put the thing in your name first and then copy it. So let me just change this back. It probably won't be able to fix it. 
that actually moves on to our next point. So uh, let's just fix this quickly. Uh, let's make it ah. Let's make it back to oh, why not? Mm, yeah. Okay. Now here's the problem. Let's imagine you didn't, and your whole server now has this in it, right? Well, just copy the string, the piece of text that has been duplicated multiple times over, which would actually technically be this. And you go remove content. Good. What do you know? It was removed. So it is relatively simple. Um, if you ever need something to be removed, it is this command. And there we go. As you have also been noticing, there is a progress bar. Now this progress bar will uh, almost universally happen with any command that has a bulk operation involved. So this is like any command that changes a nickname, any command that updates a role in any form that is a multiple thing. So this will help you with a server that's got like more than 100 people or 5,000 people or any number of people really to keep track of how many people have actually been changed and seeing that the bot is not dead and not adding it because you've got so many users. Because there is a limit to how many times the bot can add in a minute or so. And that's a dynamic time, so obviously you can't really calculate it. And that's pretty much it for prefixes and suffixes. Uh, this was a pretty long video. Um, I didn't plan it very well. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest here. But uh, hopefully that explains everything. If you have any further questions, of course, you have the support server. Okay.